And so to next part of the lemon. Uh, now there has been a lot going on, a lot of testing, a lot of refinements to the map to get the boost under control, uh, loads of little bits happening. However, it's all very boring, so I've not been really videoing it. So what I did do is get some new rims because I want some new brakes. So it kind of all goes around in a circle, doesn't it, in a cycle. So I thought I'd show you those because it's much more interesting than what was going on. So this is the stock GTI 6 or, if you get the D-Turbo, wheel. Or if someone had ticked the option list, I guess. So it's not a bad wheel. Um, I think they're 6.5J or something like that. 6J, 15 inch. And I got some lovely 88Rs on them. I might have mentioned that already. They are a great tyre. But... I saw something different. And part of the reason I saw something different is this. This is a 326mm disc. Uh, it's a DS3 Racing front disc or 208 GTI. Bolts set directly to the 306 hub. I'll talk about calipers in the next video and these brakes properly. However, for this video, it's the wheels. Now, let me show you the problem. Hopefully, you can see this. So, this is a cyclone wheel. And that's the disc. Looks cool, but there's no room for a caliper. Need to make bigger. 16 inch, not big enough. Gonna need 17. Not a great fan of 17 inch wheels. There's very few that I think are nice. Get that out of the way. And smooth. This is what I got. Yeah. So what we have here is a set of rotor recce wheels. And that's how you say it. 17 inch, eight inches wide, uh, ET40 and 108 um, stud dimension, PCD, whatever you call it. I think they look epic. I love them because they kind of look like the Ford Motorsport wheels you often see. And I've got a deep love, original love. My first car was a Fiesta um, and love the old RS turbos, etc. So, yeah. However, those that know 306s, oh, by the way, tyre size is 215 something. 21540, 21540, so 8 inch wide, 21540, ET40. Now, it's obviously not, it's like a Ford Fitment basically, ET40, which is the offset of the backspacing, as Americans call it. Hello to USA. Um, so, I had to get some spacers. <coughs> so, shout out to these blokes who got these spacers sorted. These are one piece billet aluminium spacers. They just are made so nice. Now you'll also know what I've had done is the 306 Peugeot standard, they have a bolt that goes through the wheel and it can be a bit of a hassle so I've gone for a stud and nut conversion at the same time. Now they can do anything you want really, they can change the bore size, uh, they can change the stud pattern, they can obviously do the, what they've done here which is done a stud and nut conversion, so perfect, which gives you options you see. So I've got these lovely neochrome wheel bolts which have a locker with them as well. Let me get you in a bit closer to show them because these just look absolutely gorgeous and we're not really going to see these again once the wheels are off. So let's give you a little closer in uh, look at these spaces. Um, as I say, one piece billet, which is rather fancy. Um, I have trial fitted them and they fit absolutely perfect. They're so snug. There's no movement when you pop them against the hub. Um, they've done these studs on there, so I go stud nut conversion, which is nice. Um, they're pressed in. Very sweet. Um, now they come, they didn't come with the nuts, I wanted to buy my own and provide them for you, but they couldn't supply the ones I wanted, which is these. You've got loads of choices when you get to nuts, I've got to admit, which is really handy. Um, so I mean, something a bit fancy, a bit JDM. But it's got this lovely collar on it so that when you're doing them up tight, it shouldn't sort of screw up on the uh, on the alloy. They are also got lockers in them as well, which is quite nice. Um, so I wanted a set of lockers obviously for these alloys and these tyres. Oh by the way, Michelin and PS3s these tyres the wheels have come from, which is another reason I got them. Um, and they came with these lovely couple of uh, sockets which don't damage the chrome, which is quite handy. Uh, the spaces also come with, I thought I had them here, no I don't, here they are, hang on. Uh, you can also get these spaces with, 
the, uh, the bolts that actually fit them. So they send you the, with these. Obviously, specific. You have to tell them what hubs you've run in. So they send you the right size of of, of bolt. But these are 12.9 tensile bolts. They go fit in lovely, nice and snug inside the space there, like that. Um, and if you're wondering, that's who they are. Hopefully, that'll just focus. I will put a link down the bottom. The PDV spaces. And now they've got a shop coming up. They do uh, supply on eBay, but obviously you can go direct and they'll give you discounts. They will give you a discount if you mention Piggy Power. So there you go. I hope that might help you. As you can see the size of that space from there, they can pretty much do anything you want. Which is pretty cool if you fancy running some different wheels or you need a specific offset. Now we're going to go fit them to this side and get the car out of the way. I'm afraid I've already done the other side because I've test fitting stuff. And I've done loads of measurements with these spaces. So we're now running ET10 with these spaces because these are 30mm. Um, which means there's no arch rolling required, unless I go really low, which is pretty cool. I'll show you in a little bit. Let's get them fitted. A couple of tips here when you're putting a spacer on, um, any spacer really, but most spacers are some sort of alloy. This is only aluminium. Um, you can see all this crud grot build up on the steel disc. Um, now, this is going to cause potentially wobble or movement of the uh, spacer because of the dirt so you need to clean it off a wire wheel is the perfect thing for that for me I'll stick one on a grinder use some PPE the other thing to do once you've done that is put a thin film of some copper slip on the face of there and on the inside of there now if anyone's on an alum uh, uh, aluminium calipers you can get problems with aluminium calipers against a steel face and a, a sort of a layer of corrosion builds up between them and actually you can basically cause all sorts of issues. So I'm not going to go into the details, but basically a little bit of copper slip. So there's my top tips for fitting spaces. Most people say don't fit them, but... <laughs> nice wheels! <laughs> nice wheels. So that's how they look fitted on the rear there. Looking lovely. Oh yeah. Right, let's get these wheels on. Yum yum. And here they are fitted. There's a tiny bit of arch rub at the moment, so we're getting a little arch roller out, I think. But they sit pretty snug in there, which is nice. Um, maybe a tad lower, we'll sort that out at a later date. The rear end hasn't been touched yet. New beam coming up, wait up for an episode for that. And so about 10mm lower, a little bit of arch roll, I think, would be appropriate. And then on the next episode, we need to sort them out. Those rather embarrassing looking brakes. That is definitely on the list. Ooh, but shiny walnuts. Yummy. Mmm, nice.